All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to manage the rotation centers for X and Y and KOWP using complex animations, and let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to rotate this square here, and I want you to notice where its center of rotation is. So hopefully you notice that it's kind of rotating right here. That's like its rotation center. Let's look at that one more time. As you can see, it's rotating right around there. Well, if you've watched my scale X, Y video for complex animations, I recommend you check that out. Rotation works the same way. It's based off the center of the shape. So uh, if we look at the center of this square, it's right there. That's the center of this shape. And if we move to the right, one, two, three units, and then we move up, two units. If you've watched my scale XY video with the grid, I'll show you how to get the grid. This grid represents little square pixels that are 50 by 50. By 50. So uh, really what we're doing here is we're going to the right three units, which is 150 pixels. And then we go up two and recall in that video, when we go up, we have to actually use a negative Y value. So we're going up these two units. That's going to be up 100. So we want to use a negative 100. Well, let's look in KOWP and I'll show you how I have it set up. So inside of our complex animation here, it, it's really the same kind of setup, except I'm dealing with the rotate X center, the rotate Y center, and then, you know, how many times do I want to rotate it? Just make sure you set your center right there at 0%. This works a lot like the scale X, Y centers, except now we're de dealing with rotations. So as you can see, the rotate X center is 150. That means we go 150 pixels or whatever you want to call it to the right, and then we're going to go up. 100 pixels. Make sure you use a negative when you want to go up when you're dealing with this. And then I had that at 100%, I have it set to rotate 1080 degrees. That is going to be three complete full rotations. So if I check this and let's just take this shape that we have here and let's just position it somewhere else because it's worth mentioning here just in case you didn't get it in the first time I did the scale XY. If I just move this randomly, uh, let's say we move it somewhere like right there, um, it's still going to rotate based off the center of the shape. So I'm going to uh, bump this over just a little bit to kind of get it back inside of my grid. And I think that right there is going to be good. So I didn't change the center of rotation. I left my complex animation the exact same way. And let's just look at that one more time. Our rotate X center is 150 to the right. Our rotate Y center is 100 units up. So let's check that. Let's save it. And let's go back to the home screen. So now the center of our shape well, it's already rotating, but as you can see, it's still doing it right around that same point, and it's based off the center of the shape. Right 150, that's going to be three of these squares, and then we go up two squares, which is that negative 100 pixels, or whatever you want to call it. So again, it's based off of the center of the shape. Um, if we want to rotate this thing somewhere else totally random, I'm going to leave the square right here. Let's, uh, let's get another center of rotation and see what we can do with this. So check out this red dot. I just drew one up here on the screen and let's rotate. Let's make that the center of rotation to make sure we understand this. So go to the center of your shape, which is right here. We're going to go to the right one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of those squares means six times 50. Since each square is 50, we're going to go to the right 300 units. And now we're going to go down one, two, three, four. Well, if you take 4 times 50, that's going to be 200, and we're going down, so we want to use a positive Y value in KOWP. So our rotate X center is going to be 300. Our rotate Y center is going to be 200. Let's go enter that in KOWP. So I've changed those two values, right 300 units and down 200 units. Again, do not forget that. And instead of three full rotations, let's do two full rotations. So two full rotations corresponds to 720 degrees. You can even use negative values here to make, make it rotate the opposite direction. But let's go check this out and see if this works. So here I have that rotate center again. This is where we have adjusted it to in our complex animation. This red dot is just to serve as a point of reference and that's in relationship to the center of this shape. Two full rotations, it should go like this because that's our center of rotation. Let's have a look.
And as you can see, that's exactly what's happening there. That is our center of rotation. So if we go backwards on this, it's doing the exact same thing, obviously in the opposite direction. So now that we have that basic idea down, you can move this shape. If you move this shape, it's going to move this center of rotation in relationship to the center of this shape. So if you go move this square down, all right, move it down and to the right, it's going to move this down and to the right the same way. You cannot forget that. That's very important. This rotate XY center is just like the scale XY center. It's going to move in relationship to the center of the shape or whatever object you're trying to move. Now, when you combine this with the scale XY, we can almost make like a little funnel effect or something like that. So we can make this thing rotate and we can make it scale down to this point right here. Almost like, uh, I don't know, water going down a drain or something like that. Let's have a look at and see how to set that up in KLWP. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm adding a scale XY center to match up with my rotate X and Y center. And then I'm having the scale XY going down to zero. Let's see what happens with this effect. So here's our shape yet again. And now what should happen is we're going to get that same rotation, but as it's rotating around this center point here, it's also going to scale to this center point since we set it at the same scale X center and the same scale Y center as we did for our rotate X center and our rotate Y center. So as you can see, that's exactly where the square went to. Let's kind of reverse that back. And you know, now what you can do with this, that you've got these two ideas linked together, you can actually move the, you can rotate the X and Y center to a different spot and you can scale the X, Y center to a different spot. The only thing about that is if you change these values up, if you have a different rotate X, Y center versus the scale X, Y center, sometimes it might not go to the exact uh, specific point that you have set. I have run into that issue, but I encourage you to explore that. Set your rotate X, Y center to something set your scale XY center to something else and experiment, you know, um, mark on your, you can't mark on your phone, but you know, uh, take note of where those values are and see how the shape or whatever object you're scaling and rotating will act in correspondence to the rotate XY center and the scale XY center. And there you have it. That's how you can deal with the rotate X and Y center in KOWP using complex animations. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.